Are we getting another MIDI fucking rap verse? A secret MIDI not, rap verse? Not this time, man. My family will lock me out the house <laughs> if I try to do it again. My daughter was complaining that she had to hear it. Dad, were you rhyming? You suck. <laughs> she was like, Dad, is that the same shit you were spitting to me when I was born? <laughs> Dad, you're spitting rittens. <laughs> That's my fucking favorite. Come at that me with them freestyles, son. Uh, that is my Come favorite. With the written. When you fucking like f- fuck somebody up and fucking and, and and their only fucking comeback is, yeah, but that was written. And then I'd be like, yeah, and yours wasn't. That's why I won. I what's the That's <laughs> why mine was better. Yeah, you know that you can write too, right? <laughs> Are we uh are we ready to go here, Dust? Are we uh Yeah, we're, man, we're, we're we've been ready. We've been we've been recording since uh oh, okay. maybe somebody right. said he ain't got nothing to bring to the table. So fuck him. All right. <laughs> well, every Hello. every week every hey, every week someone's got to bring a rap to the table except for me. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't put me under that kind of pressure. I'm not going yeah, exactly. to Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure I can that. squeeze that out. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe uh, Cole yeah. Silver 17, you'll hear a Dust Mites. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Primo is rapping now. Uh, uh, I'll be lucky from... if I can get Dust to fucking talk on an interlude. <laughs> Yo, whatever you want to do, I'll do it, man. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all, right. Oh, man. Uh, all right, hey, everybody. Welcome to the Terradrome. We are back once again. This is episode four. Count them. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro for all you bilingual people out there. Woo! Number four, like the horseman. Woo! Uh, yeah. How's everybody doing? Uh, I'm glad to be back once again. It's the gentlemen and guys who, I guess gentlemen and guys are the same thing, right? Fuck, I shouldn't yeah, have smoked. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Smoke we another podcast one, like this is the last podcast we'll ever do because... It just might be. How's everybody <laughs> doing? You good? You like guys like that? I'm working on my Richard Dawson. No, man, I'm definitely, man. I really dig that. I really, <laughs> that tagline, I really that's a tagline for us, you know? Uh, yeah, you know, we're going to go in alphabetical <laughs> order like we've seemed to be doing, which that starts with Mr. Bo Walker. Bo, how's it going, brother? It's going good. It's going, it's going real good. And uh, I brought something to the table for you guys tonight. And Holy goes, shit! Are we getting some sort of exclusive? You're getting, you're getting, you're getting some kind of exclusive. It's uh, I tried this, I tried this out. I wrote this a while oh, back. Oh, 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 I'm, no, not gonna, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna act. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I think I, get, I think I know what he's gonna do. Yeah. Ready? What's I twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, oh no, All right, oh, everybody, no. shut up. Let Bo right, do his thing. Shut, shut, shut the hell up and listen to this. I'm stepping into the room like Adrian Toomes. I'm too old for this shit. I got too much to lose. But what you want me to do? Sell out my dreams for a room with a view so I can work in a cube? Nah, man. I'm making moves where I can. So try to understand that I'm climbing out of the quicksand, man. Even if I got to go to toe-to-toe with the amazing Spider-Man, I spread my wings and fly, do or do not, there is no try. And though I may not lift the X-Wing from the swamp, I'm the best thing my town has when it comes to nerd rap and comedy hip-hop. So welcome to our podcast. Like Nate said, I'm Bo. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the show. Damn, let's go. Let's go, yeah. Act like you know about you know, it. You know, the best part watching, yeah. him, watching him recite it, that was the best part. It was like, I like it, Bo. I like yeah. it. I like Bo, it. Yeah. Stepping his game up. Stepping his intro yeah. game up. Yeah. Woo. Well, I, like I, I felt I felt like uh, Dust lost some heat last week, so I was like, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. I can't just... Welcome can't to just the like, fucking well, terror I'm doing people. good. I'm yeah, doing good. I like it. Listen, nobody's hating on that. I'm telling you right now. Good job, buddy. <laughs> uh, Midichlorian, how are you, sir? Well, you see, my name is Midi. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. Uh, you know what? I'm pretty happy because I just got to uh, purchase a pair of uh, sneakers made by uh, Pizza Hut where I could pause live TV <laughs> And what are pizzas? <laughs> are those a real yeah. thing, by the way? Did you see that commercial? Those you saw that are... commercial? No, they're a real thing. They're on eBay for about ah, three damn. Gs or so. But holy, I, mean, I got a free bit. It's about time version, we get the know? year three thousand. Jesus Christ! Yeah, <laughs> That's I mean, I did see that commercial. I knew <laughs> sneakerheads were going to go fucking nuts for it. But three thousand dollars—that you better have a really good day job. That's all I got to say. <laughs> 
I have yeah, a hard time real, spending three hundred. I love Jays, but I have a hard time spending three hundred dollars on them. Yeah, I, yeah, hundred dollars right. is about my max. Oh, oh, what yeah, oh, on when, sneakers? Yeah, yeah. pause I'm your life. Thinking. Oh man, I go to Marshalls if it ain't fucking twenty two ninety five. Yo, shout out to the Air Monarchs on fucking you know my my old ass. I'm buying forty five dollar Air Monarchs because I got bad feet. <laughs> So, you know, Air Monarchs is the best fucking walking shoe you could fucking buy, man. Walking Shout out to TJ Maxx. Dust has to factor in the Dr. Scholl's insole. Fucking yeah, man. When you, when you, when you get to like my that. age and, you, and you're like fucking as heavy as I have been working retail your whole life, your feet are fucking destroyed. Oh, oh yeah. Tr- no, those Dr. Scholl shits, those are, those are legit. Those are. Not like, even you know, use that shit, I'm man. I'm not even trying to sound old, but those are like real. Like, those are a life well, like, oh, rock, oh. rock the fucking Air Monarchs, and you will see what I'm talking about. They're not like the it. stylized shoe of the world, but the comfort is incredible. Uh, you know, you guys know today is like National Air Max Day, right? That- oh, shit, it is. Yeah, Fuck a boat. Bo is already cru- He's already the MVP of the episode. <laughs> oh wow! Bo is early, the early front runner for MVP. Of the episode. <laughs> he's early burden. He's early burden. Yes. You know the one uh, thing. I mean, I love Air Maxes, but they're just not wide enough for my badass fucking toes. <laughs> you need the pie tops. The pie tops. Yeah, man, they're just not wide enough. I need. Pie I need. I need the extra wide tops. Them joints. <laughs> Dust Edward, how are hey, you, my friend? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, Good. you're not going to get any rhyme out of me, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> not yet, anyway. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get you to do it. No, I'm not done. Not tonight. At some point, I, I just finished doing a two hour podcast with with my homies and Enter the Realm Realm Collectors, and I am nice. here with you dudes. And uh, no, I'm not there yet. I'm almost there, but you know, I, I tried. I tried coming up with something witty, but yeah, it just didn't work, man. I'll just do break beats and samples. <laughs> hey, welcome to. Uh, the Cobra Law Podcast. Uh, well, welcome to the Aerodrome, uh, Terradrome, Aerodrome, uh, episode four. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yes, yes, y'all. Um, <laughs> so uh, I got a couple things. I, I got a couple things to kick around. Oh, uh, right. we got we got topics tonight. We're, we're shock, doing topics, shock, man. Shockingly enough, right? <laughs> um, so I wouldn't call myself an aficionado of. But I am somebody that certainly enjoys mid sixties, late sixties. Are you okay, Mitty? Because your fucking microphone is all over the place. Why are you gonna fucking touch it? Mute it. Touching the microphone. Why don't you mute it before you touch it? (laughs) Hold on, guys. I gotta go to the bathroom. (laughs) Hold on. Hold on. Here I am. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, you're starting a story. Yeah, all right. We're finally getting this podcast going, and this guy's adjusting his fucking pop screen. So it's hey, uh, physical difficulties are through. Uh, yeah, okay, we don't, we don't right. want we don't want Mitty's peas to pop. He's like so anyway. So he's like piglet. So I uh, I very much enjoy uh, late sixties mid you know mid to late sixties television and movies. A lot of my favorite films are. You know, Planet of the Apes, uh, Good and the Bad and the Ugly, 2001 Space Odyssey. I love all that kind of pe- – some people think it's – I mean, those movies are classic, but a lot of times people think a lot of that era is – it's very cheesy. It's, you know, the original Batman series where, you know, the fights are like a fucking joke. But, like, that's why it's dope, I think. You know what I mean? So – uh, go on. What? No, I was going to say, like, like that, that Batman series was totally taken the wrong way. Like everybody wanted that, like it would. They they thought it was gonna be like that serious. It was gonna be like a, a serial, like the the old, uh, Superman serials and the old Batman serials that were back right. in the day. And when it came out, with that whole comic book and yes. the boom with the Banff oh, and the that. pow and like the right. whole cheesiness and it it did not get taken properly when it first came out and it was almost canceled right off the bat. But then people started getting it. Right. Started on yeah, this. no, yeah, I feel you, and that's like it's like the Twilight Zone. As if, if you follow yeah. me on social media, you know that's like my favorite shit ever, right? That had troubles too, Greg, coming out, man. They were <laughs> no, ready I, to cancel I, I, that I, one too. Yeah, it was one of those things that people weren't ready for. So this weekend, I'm hanging out, and they have a channel uh, out here in LA. It's called Me TV, and I don't know if you guys get it or not, but it's it's nothing but like old television shows and stuff, right? Like all day long, like everything from like facts of life to Hogan's heroes to, 
you know, bonanza, shit like that. Yeah, right? Dude, I just leave that on all day. Dude, bro. I'm telling you. So that's what I did this weekend a lot of times, right? And on Saturday, they had like sci fi Saturday night. So like their lineup is like Star Trek, fucking the original Battle Scar Galactica. Nice. Fucking, you know, they throw some Twilight Zone in there. And what they threw in there was I don't know if you guys are familiar with, and I was absolutely shocked and disappointed in myself. Mm. that I had never seen the original Wild Wild West television show. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. That, now, that are, are you, right are you no. guys familiar with it at all? Yeah, yeah, of course. That was way before me. I was not aware of it. Yeah, it did. Yes. It, was, it wasn't big in syndication in the late 70s, so I didn't see No, 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 no. It was, yeah, it was like 64 to like yeah. 69 because I started yeah. to do some research on it, right? And so I'm watching it, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is fucking incredible. What it is is it's basically because I did a little research because I was so enthralled with it because it's like James – it's like 60s enthralled. Sean Connery. Oh, enthralled. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it, it's like 60s Sean Connery James Bond meets the Wild West. And I'm yeah. just talking every. it's like – fucking quirky gadgets and shit there's like midget villains and like <laughs> giant tuning forks are like the weapons and like, spaghetti you know, weapons <laughs> yes right bro it's yeah. like fucking it's like exploding pool balls okay and so it's fucking so there's one guy and they work on a train okay that's like their fucking base of operations it's like a <laughs> fucking train and one of the cars on the train is like a science lab and one of the dudes the two dudes is like a fucking uh, master of disguise. So this old boy is in a different disguise like every episode, and it's fucking hilarious, dude. They have him like acting as a Chinese guy, but he's white. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that was that was basically right. the '60s and the general. Yes, dude. It's, it's, dude, I'm telling you, I had a smile ear to ear. I was grinning. The, I was like, how have I never really seen this before? Dang. So I so I did a little research, and apparently. In the fifties, uh, they it was all Western uh, shows. It was The Rifleman. It was Bonanza. It was yeah. fucking you know all those kind of shows, right? Have gun, will travel, shit like that. Yep. Well, yeah. in the sixties, people were over the whole Western bit. They were just like, ah, we're like kind of not into it anymore. And what was the hot shit? Spy shit. James Bond. Yeah, the spy stuff. Fucking yeah. Mission yeah. Impossible. Spy, spy uh, sci-fi. Yeah, Man from Uncle. Get smart, right? So the studios are like, well, fuck, we have all these Western sets from all of these TV shows. Uh, what the fuck are we, we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do with them? So somebody sat around and was like, hey, yes. let's just make a James Bond Western cowboy. <laughs> and people are like, fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's exactly what they did. And I'm telling you, for anybody that's a fan of that kind of cheese, but also cool like cool dialogue, cool characters. Like in one episode, they're like the villain, like ran a fun house. And another episode, the guy was like an evil barber. It's like wild shit like that. <laughs> I'm, and sure I'm telling Uncle... you, dude, it's fuck. It's really, evil really good. Barber. I'm sure on Coast yeah. of the Three, Coast of the Three will have some sort of audio clip from this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, it's, 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 it was really, really, I mean, for something that's, 40 years old now it was almost refreshing to me because i think i thought i had seen all of the dope 60s tv shows you know what i mean yeah. and i own a lot of them and i saw that and i was like holy fuck i can't wait and so i ordered on amazon all of the seasons already because i <laughs> no way two episodes oh yeah wow and i'm ready to and so i and find out too. yeah yeah exactly that was so, you know that that was a show that really it, man you didn't see it I don't remember seeing it ever, and I'm I, I'm Me a big, I mean, I grew yeah. up in the seventies, man, seventies into the eighties, man. You know, I'm an early seventies baby, so man, I don't rem recall that at all. I and mean, I watched them all, man. All the and the other dope thing is, it's around the same time as the Twilight Zone, so you'll get characters that'll pop on the show for one episode, and you'll be like, "Holy shit, I so saw what, that guy in that episode of the Twilight Zone." Yeah, was it color or black and white? It's black and white for the first season. And, and then a transition. Color. Yeah, yeah. Color color came out. The, yeah. It wasn't yeah. around yet. Yeah. yeah. And so real quick, another cool thing. So I watched like three of them on this on this channel that I get because I that that's the all they had, right? So the first two episodes are the same like OG characters, apparently. And it's dope. And then in the third episode, 
uh, you know, Mr. West, and then one of the main guys of gets course. on the train. And yeah, his name is John West or some shit, right? <laughs> and so, and so his his partner, his that's name my, is that, that's my porno name, John yeah, West. Exactly. Boy. <laughs> so his partner is uh is a guy named Artemis Gordon. Okay, yeah, that that's changed. Minnie's porno that's name, shit, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> so Artemis Prime actually, <laughs> he gets on the train. And he's like, all right, Artemis, like, what is the fucking government sent us a note to do now? And he turns around. And it's like a whole different actor. And he's like, you know, who are you? And then he's like, oh, Artemis had to go on some mission, yada, yada, yada. So I'm like watching and I'm like, all right, he's obviously going to come back sometime in the episode. So he never comes back. And I'm like, fuck, that's bizarre. And then I look it up and this is like season four, one of the final like six episodes. So I go online and find out that the original actor had a fucking heart attack. And they replaced the series him. and died. And they Jesus. fucking replaced They just threw it. They, they threw it he's in disguise. <laughs> he's a spy. He's, he's, a, he's a cowboy spy. <laughs> yes, sir, the, yeah, that's. Yeah. And so I was like, holy shit, that's awful. But then, like, they just kept it rolling, dude. <laughs> this is a new segment, What Nate Watches. <laughs> what do we got to do? Man, there were, a lot of jo- there were a lot of lives riding on that series. I mean, they could just cancel <laughs> exactly. that shit just because right. some guy had a heart attack. I mean, yeah, yeah. And, dude, and what do you know? That was the final season. Yeah. <laughs> For, Man, for I mean, both that actor and the series. The funny thing was, like, you, you say the, the time zone that was unlike the spaghetti westerns were fucking crazy back then, man. Oh, yeah. Late, yeah. Mid the to late 60s. Out, they were still. The bad ugly came out in 68, yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody doesn't know what, what, what why they call it a spaghetti western. It was like. Uh, the, the, it, it was a, there was a strike back in the day, and they couldn't make the movies in the U.S., so they went to the hills of Italy. To do these cowboy movies that were supposed to look like Texas and Arizona from the U.S., and they called it spaghetti westerns because they're doing western movies in in Italy. That's exactly. And westerns, they so. were now now listen, spaghetti westerns. I will be very proud to say that I am an aficionado in. Oh hell yeah, man! Hell yeah, man! I you watch the movies, I got the soundtracks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so a lot yeah, of good. I think, shit, uh, I think once Sergio Leone, real quick, not to get off on a whole other tangent, but Sergio Leone, the guy that directed um, Fistful of Dollars for a few dollars more and Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, also did a, a movie called Once Upon a Time in the West, mm. which is a really, really brilliant film. If you guys yep. haven't seen it, it's 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 it doesn't have Eastwood in it or whatever, but it's fucking it's right up there. And that was the first. He got so much recognition from the other three that that was the first movie that he was actually allowed to shoot in the United States because they could afford it and to bring those people in there. Yep. And so of course the movie is at the base of like, you know, the fucking that like Zion national park and shit like out there by the four corners where <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. those, those picturesque fucking yeah. classic Western mountains are. You, you of see, course he was like, you see the mash mountains, the mash. Yeah. Mountains. They call them the yeah. mash mountains for mash. <laughs> The TV show match, you know, you see the match mountains. Yeah, he's just like, all right, fuck it. If I can finally shoot in the West, I'm shooting in the most iconic places yeah. that like John Wayne and them have shot like 50 movies in by now. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? He's like, I'm doing it right here. I don't care who's done it. It's about 40, it's 40 feet from the Hollywood sign. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to Mash. If that yeah, looks surreal, that's what it must be like. Great fucking show, man. Hawkeye, man. He was the Hawkeye, like, like back in the day, like, I, Back in the eighties, like growing around Brooklyn, I come home about eleven o'clock. And the best thing about eleven o'clock, you get home, you eat something, you you're in your bedroom, you watch, you watch Mash, and then it was honeymoonies at eleven thirty. Man, that's what I grew up on back in the day, man. Pure comedy, pure fucking good shit, man. And it's funny because I'm sure Bo can back me up on this one. When I saw Mash come on, I knew I had to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Accurate. Wow. Accurate. Accurate. Yeah. Ma- Mash haters, huh? Mash. If you ever want to torture me, just put me in a room with dude, you. Dude, man, this shit is funny as fuck, you know, man. Dude, you're 100% correct, us, because as an adult, it's just like Cheers. Like, MASH and Cheers were like the adult shows, and that was just yeah. like the signal that it was getting late. Yeah. And then, yeah. like, watching them nowadays, it's like, ah, oh, these are fi- – no it's wonder my parents genius. like these. It's yeah. fucking genius, man. Basically, Hawkeye was fucking uh, Groucho Marx, man. It was fucking incredible. Right, sure. His fast, quick humor was fucking – Alan Alda killed it. Uh, yeah very good yeah i hear bogom yeah yeah 
Uh, That's because I, I think Bo's got some. I, I, I think. Get, listen, I think Bo is locked, cock, and ready to go this episode, and no, so we're gonna that, go. We're gonna go to him right now and see and go and we're going right back no. to him. We're feeding the hot hand. No, no, no. <laughs> I, was, I was just gonna say. I guess it's that the fifteen years that are the indifference yeah. between us. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, nah, hey, that's 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 more. That's that's you're being a bit generous there. I don't know. I'm, I'm an old fuck, man. Well, you're you're a fuck. No, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely. Know, a fuck. I, don't, I don't know about old. All right, bro, bring it. No, no, I I am kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I I don't I don't know what I have to bring. I I, I think for for me, like when I hear about those shows, like there's a there's there's a nostalgia that it reminds in me. You know, mash. And and uh, maybe Wild Wild West to to a much lesser degree because I don't really remember that show. But like yeah, I don't remember those, at all. those old school shows. Like remind me of a time when like it was just infinite discovery flipping channels. Whereas yeah. I feel like now, especially like as a dad with kids, like it's all just streaming. Just whatever you want, yeah, whatever you yeah. want, as much as you want. And there's yeah. there's little there's much less discovery of shit. But like at the same time, there's a safety in that because I feel like I found lots of shit that I should not have found. Like as a kid, like being up past when I should have been like flipping channels. Yeah. Like uh, the scariest shit. Like what what was the scariest fucking thing you can remember seeing when you were on TV, kid? like on, on, on broadcast on, on, TV? on TV or on TV or on like video like at at the at at a house at your house at a friend's house at like see like like what was what was the thing yeah that left you shook that like had you sleeping with the light on that had you like looking behind the shower curtain and shit what was that first thing that like (laughs) shook your ass like and all right you you guys know i'm a baby from the 70s so i'm not putting my age out there but my aunt took me to see close encounters because she thought it was going to be just as good as Star Wars. Right? Right. I love Star Wars. Now, I'm very young. You know what I mean? I'm very young. Six, seven years old. Whatever the fuck it was. Those gray aliens. The grays. The grays at the shout end. Out the, shout out to the fuck. grays. And the big heads with the fucking black eyes. I seen those things. <laughs> fucking looking around corners in my house. Coming at me. Out of the fucking ground in the back fucking for fucking years man that one thing really scorned me and another thing that scorned me was um what, am, oh, what the fuck was it it was a it was a commercial on fucking tv and i can't fucking remember but i'll come back to it but that was the one fucking thing that fucking killed me man how are you gonna take a fucking seven-year-old fucking dude to go see close encounters where people are being abducted and taken through a fucking doggy door the yeah, kid no, was tell you, that shit a doggy a door, kid. man. That there was no way. There was no way. That's not Star Wars. There's no, <laughs> there's no <laughs> fucking like, bee bop, boop bop, bee bop. Little guys walking around and that's how the Star Wars started. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. There was no fucking reason for that shit, man. No reason uh, for that shit. Midi, what about you, sir? What was the first? What was the first scary thing as a kid, movie, TV wise, that left you shook? Probably a police academy citizen. <laughs> We're trying to be serious, and this guy goes to the fucking side. Nothing, nothing had me shook as a kid. You know, I, I can't think of too much that had me shook. You know, oh, you're so tough. Yeah, Come on, tough guy. I'm, yeah. I'm serious. I can't think of. Honestly, if you wanted to scare me, just play me mash. That'll fuck me up. Like, there we go. <laughs> I, I, another thing. All right, I remember now. Um, Salem's Lot. Remember Salem's yeah, Lot? Yeah. They, they, it was a TV. Stephen King yeah, wasn't Stephen a movie. It was King, on TV. Stephen King, and I won't say he ruined my childhood. <laughs> he fucked it up. Like, he fucked my childhood. It was on TV. Oh, it, right. was in, it was in the late 70s. It had fucking David Soul from Starsky and Hutch. And there's this one fucking scene where the vampire is hovering outside the window, trying to be invited into the room by the kid uh-huh. that he was. That fucking yeah. fuck killed me because i wasn't supposed to be watching tv i was supposed to be sleeping i turned it on it was like a sunday night like 9 p.m whatever the fuck you remember the sunday night movies oh and yeah i fucking saw that and i fucking turned it off and i couldn't sleep for a fucking month <laughs> so 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 this isn't even this isn't even a movie or a, a tv show per se 
But the fucking intro to Tales from the Dark Side yeah, yeah. used to fucking creep me out, mm-hmm. dude. Where it's like, in a world that has a forest that's dark. And and at the end. end. (laughs) Yeah, dude. So that, that, that really, really freaking freaked me out as a kid. You know what else freaked me out too? And this is a very obscure one. And I don't know why, but there was a, a, similar to Creep Show, there was a, a thing called Trilogy of Terror. Yes. And it was very close to Creep Show where it had three different stories and shit like that, right? Well, there was one where a lady buys like a little African fucking wooden doll. Yep. And, and, yep. Or gets I know it, what you're talking or whatever. about. And and they, they little, spin it. Yes, the voodoo yes, doll, they spin it. And that, and that little fucking doll is running around her yep. house like fucking yep. with a spear. That shit freaked me out. <laughs> like, oh, for I legit, real, man. For like, real. Yep. I legit to that day think of that little fucking doll from, from Trilogy of Terror. And uh, what year was and, that? I, the mid to late eighties, probably. Somebody, somebody Google that shit. We got these little boxes that yeah. that are are connected to other boxes. Yeah, it's uh. Yeah. Anybody yeah, Google that, that, that because that's... I cannot type right now. Uh, I'll Google it while Bo tells us his. Uh, mine, mine was definitely like a. Oh, uh, goes right to. I was at I was at a friend's house and we were up later than we were supposed to be and we were flipping the channels looking through. The you know the channels that we knew were playing the horror movies, the like scary movies, and it was like, I think I think genuinely our in, intent was to catch a titty. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're like, like maybe uh, we'll catch a titty. Almost. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Well, you know what? You know, you had cable as a kid. I didn't have cable. Yeah. I had yeah. fucking two no, rabbit right. ears and yeah, fucking I, a black I, I and white TV no. with no fucking channel changer. <laughs> But right. there was this uh there was this movie Catch and it, it took me years to figure out what this movie was. Like I had to like track it down over a course of years to figure it out. But I finally found out it was a movie called The Blood Bat Bloodbath at the House of Death. <laughs> and it's apparently it's apparently it's like a like a horror comedy like a slapstick like just over the top <laughs> like gross an early an early version of scary movie or whatever yeah it was i guess kind of yeah it was like monty python meets like just super <laughs> gory horror <laughs> and there was this one scene that we stumbled upon where this guy had an enormous mole on his arm and he walks into a bathroom and he bumps into himself. It's like, it, it's him. It, it's like, an, it's like another version of him. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing in here? And he's like, you've even got my mole or whatever. And the mole like grows to life and eats and eats him. Like eats. It's like, uh, like a, bo- a body snatchers thing where this guy's mole eats another guy and one of them he ends up flushing him down the toilet that was the end of it was oh, he that's gets how, flushed that's how down he the toilet it? that's how yeah. it ends yeah He's, part two he comes out of the sewer cap and so like a i was bigger mole of, like i was scared of like mole I, i'm i'm a ginger i got i'm covered in <laughs> <damn it>. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrifying for me. Like, Dude, man. That was the scariest shit I had ever seen. Like, they, you mean to tell me at any moment, any one of these fucking things could just come to life and eat half my body and flush me down the toilet? What the fuck are we doing? The more Absolutely, they, they can both still be scared, sir. Still be scared. <laughs> <laughs> down that fucking thing. No. Like, fucking like, like the 80s, like, it's in the toilet. I remember there was a, uh, there was a TV movie. Ghoulies. No, no, no. It, it was, it was, it was an alligator. It was alligator or crocodile or whatever it was. It was on channel four. It was a TV made movie. The, the parent took the cro- the baby alligator or crocodile, flushed it down the toilet. Down the toilet. A year yeah, later, it was about. fucking 75 feet long coming out of the sewers. And I remember that as a kid, like, man, wow, man, there's alligators in the sewers. And that's, <laughs> where's that? There's that fucking that, that's that that myth that we all talk about, about alligators being in the sewers. And that's how it started. You know, yep. Toilets are scary. <laughs> Shout out to Dustin. <laughs> that's not what the fuck I meant. And fucking Mitty is still missing his yeah, yeah, he's missing okay, his cue. Yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> Mitty, you've got one apparently now. So he's like, oh, where's Dustin? I don't know. Yes. You know, you put me on a spot before. All I could think of was Mash and Police. Was fucking Academy, Police but... Academy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the worst. 
it's actually the 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 music for Mash. I mean that that's terrible. <laughs> that, when I heard that, yeah, but, but you know, until we no, flip it. But there was a movie. There was a movie. I believe it was the late or mid eighties. It was called The Serpent and the Rainbow. Yes. Uh, I don't yeah. know if you guys. Yeah, please yeah, don't yeah. ever bury me. It's I'm like, not dead yet. Some voodoo <laughs> shit. You get buried and, and you're still alive and shit. Yeah. yeah please wait, don't bury me. I'm not later, dead. Like yo. It was uh. That it, kind of shook. The cover was like a dude holding open a fucking yeah, cast, was, like a coffin, right? Uh, like, yeah, it was some. It was oh, some. Uh, yeah. It was definitely some down south voodoo shit, man. Yeah. It was yeah, based yeah. on of uh, uh, the. I think it's another joint. king one, isn't it? No, is it not another king interpretation? There was so many loose ones thrown around back in the day. Like Please they would take a Cuban, I'm would not, take a Stephen I, I, King story and just fucking make up yeah. some other shit and just be like, oh yeah, this is inspired by it. As if they could put Stephen no, King on it. Was it. Was Jacob's Ladder was dope too. That yeah, was Jacob another Ladder one that fucked that. me up. That movie fucked yeah. me up a little bit too, man. Jacob's Ladder, man. I thought yeah. it was gonna be on some fucking. Uh, some uh, supernatural shit, and it was just basically this dude just freaking out on fucking the, uh, the Agent Orange and his fi- his brain being fucked up from Vietnam. Yeah, yeah, was a real, that was a really different. When he's on the dance floor, and he's yeah, like, yeah. the fuck, his chick turns into like a fucking snake or something. Yeah, yeah, they were like definitely- a demon. You know, it, yeah. and, and this is where Hollywood like, like like goes with one genre, and this is like we're gonna push it to make it seem like this, but the whole meaning in the movie is something different. Of course, like, you know, I thought it was gonna be a supernatural and whatnot, and then when I actually got yeah, older, psychological. Watched, yeah, I got older and I watch it again. I'm like, man, that's it has nothing to do with that, man. This dude no. is suffering from the shit, that, yeah. From, yeah. From the fucking the post traumatic stress, and and, and the, that's it, right around the time too, where like all that shit was like coming around because these dudes like my pops you know came home from vietnam and you know 73 or whatever and then like they're kids and then by the time they're like 35 like shit which is like in the mid 80s when those movies are coming out that shit yep. is like you know what i mean that's the same that same time period when you know you got platoon and you got fucking yep. full metal jacket and all you know what Good i'm saying stuff. and man I, I you know honestly i'm i'm so happy to have grown up in that era that i have done because I went from some some eh, shit to some really good shit, and then some pfft, crap that we're right. getting right now. But man, it, there's so many good fucking flicks. There's so many good TV shows out there. You just have to fucking open your mind and 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 find that shit, man. So <laughs> we should do that. We should do a Cobra Law top ten. <laughs> I would fucking love that. We can do hell yeah. Shows for sure. Throw it out there weekly for 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 uh you know our picks and just man put people up on some shit. Yeah. So speaking of Rook, I'm going to switch to something else here in a second, but <laughs> What's up, dude? I, have a, I have a note here. Making you laugh so fucking hard, man. Uh, I have to give, let me tell you who is absolutely my hero right now. And it's, it's a you combination know. of both Matthew McConaughey and <laughs> Matthew McConaughey's agent. And I'm going to yeah. tell you why. Okay, you're in LA. You, you're on. You're on the fucking pulse of that shit. He's this in a heartbeat. Gen- <laughs> this gentleman has somehow secured the spokesperson rights for both Lincoln, a car, and some sort of whiskey. I forget what wild turkey or some shit. It's gotta be twenty five. He's literally a spokesman for both drinking and driving. Driving. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? He's not doing it all in the same commercial. But think about it. I've seen these fucking commercials, Mm. as have you. So in one case, he's sitting like on some back porch drinking fucking whiskey. Like, yeah, man, it'd be fucking cool if you did. Like some shit like that, right? And then the next next scene is a Lincoln commercial where it looks like he's driving super late at night, wax coming home from some Hollywood blow party, yeah. and he's like fucking <laughs> dipping, like, yeah, Lincoln, the smoothest <laughs> ride on the fucking <laughs> freeway. He's like, he's, like, he's like, hey man, these cops are right? not getting me because I'm riding right? real smooth. That's what Lincoln. I'm saying. And recently, he Have is you not ever only- ridden. It's got uh, he's like miles yeah, like, an right? hour on the super like, highway of your consciousness. It's got it's got course correction for when you're <laughs> bobbing and weaving. Oh, and not only is this fucking legend 
of both whiskey and a car spokesman. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I just heard his voice in a fucking Taco Bell commercial, which can only mean one thing, and that's that he's drinking, he's driving, and he's getting fucking fast food. Matthew McConaughey, sir, you are my fucking MVP. Hell yeah, man. Because that is fantastic. That you were able, that somehow your agent and team were able to fucking land you a car and a whiskey and a fast food deal. I'm not into the last couple years. I'm not into dudes, but I let that dude rape me. Oh, (laughs) yeah, I'm telling you, man crush, man crush all day. I am a heterosexual man, and Matthew McConaughey's McConaughey, sir, you are a man crush of mine. (laughs) No. <laughs> he's yeah. like a fucking alien, man. <laughs> he's not. Yeah, that's um not real. That dude came Interstellar out sucked. Just, Are just you kidding. fucking kidding me? Inter- okay, oh, don't. No. Oh, 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 here we go. Don't. Why did you go fucking? Don't get me started, bro. Fucking... Do not bring up Interstellar. Don't, in any don't even. Way. Why would <laughs> Mitty? Mitty? Why would you open up that fucking <laughs> that sack? <laughs> I knew I'd get a rise out you, fucking. <laughs> I ayo, I had to look yeah. it up. Matthew McConaughey is 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 uh he ain't cool with Taco Bell. Oh, but he's still Taco. He, no, he ain't down with Taco run. Bell. He ain't oh, down okay. with Taco Bell because of the whole no shirt, no service policy. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> oh, yeah, he ain't Spicoli, man. Is he this, Spicoli? This, this might be. This might be some satire bullshit. But I did find that he has done. He has done uh, commercials for Carl's Jr. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so, oh, so, oh, so, oh, so, so he's in the oh. fast food. He's in the fast. I all that to say, he's in the. He, you're correct. He's in the fast food game for sure. Yes, yes, you're right. Yeah, for Carl's sure, for Jr. Sure. Right. Yeah. For sure. I was wrong with Taco Bell. I'm sorry, no, but yeah, no, 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 no. I, but I was curious. You, I had to look that shit no. up because I was like, it's a Friday night. And we, night. Crazy. And we, and, is, and we need here. a statistician. And 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 <laughs> I'm I'm glad that you've taken on that job. I can be that guy. I can be that guy. Shout out to statistician. Yeah, some. Well, big. We had a big word. I missed the big word. Yeah. All right, yeah, shout out to big words. I guess. I guess it was big, pretty big. Everybody started. Uh, yeah, I'm podcast. sorry. I didn't. You know, I'm just like I said. I I I, 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 I take, I take notes. I, I write stuff down because now uh, I get yelled at by uh, well, we have, we us, have a fact, the principal when I post a, on Instagram. We have a fact finder now, so the fact finder <laughs> is on the case, and you're fucked. Yeah, what was the I big word? About, by the, what was the big it word? It was statistician. Wow, man. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with that shit. You get that bum, 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 boom, where? <laughs> statistician? Uh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's what Bo is now. It sounds like a foot that. fungus. Let's keep it. Get <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out of here with that. Uh, that's funny. When you're still. <laughs> Guys, man, yeah. wow, man. We really fucking uh, rammed in a little bit there, man. That was good stuff. Man. From the back. Hey, how do you guys how do you guys uh how do you guys feel about Deadpool 2? Yes, yes. I mean the trailer. Nobody, like that's it. it? Yeah. No, I, nothing? Like I mean I know, no, no. I don't want to always be to go start. Looks it looks <laughs> it looks uh looks exciting. Looks good. Yeah. Looks, looks like great. a great couple hours of viewing. Yeah. Looks great. Looks great. Yeah. Uh, let's let's uh, well, let's go to dust. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, it's not my Deadpool. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, my Deadpool. That's not my Deadpool. I'm an old guy. I'm a '90s comic guy. That's not, not my Deadpool. Deadpool. Hashtag not Deadpool. that's not my Deadpool. Hashtag that's <laughs> not my Deadpool. And I enjoyed the first one. And I and I, and I understood. I did not read the comics in the 2000s when he started uh, eating chicka chamangas or whatever the fuck it was and talking to <laughs> talking to the audience. My Deadpool, my Deadpool was uh, was that 90s field like a- smart ass badass shooting motherfuckers up Deadpool, and everybody's gonna say, "Well, that's not different than what the Deadpool is now." No, there's a lot different. There's a lot different. Yeah, Rob Leinfeld wasn't drawing him. That's about it. Yeah, shout out to feet. <laughs> shout out to shout out to feet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, what, you know what? Uh, you know, when this dude's saying like, "We're I'm go- 
this is my that's not X Force. Fuck you. That's not my X Force. That's not X Force. That's what I know. I know, but you've got to have some leeway, no, my friend. Bro, We're not just bro, gonna bro, get bro. Gigs. They're not gonna just I, go I, by fucking you know New Mutants one hundred and X Force one. You're getting a Nate. Deadpool movie. <laughs> Nate, how long has the MCU been around? Twenty plus years. No, that's like that's ten. twenty. That's twenty years of leeway I've been giving them. <laughs> Yeah. And I know this is a Fox movie, but I'm just saying, I'm, it's it's cool and it's great. But I'll watch it. I'll watch it. But you know what? Honestly, man, it's it's gonna be. The, I don't think this new one's gonna be. I mean, it's, hey, for anybody out there stuff. reading, hey, for anybody out there reading between the lines, when Dust goes, it's cool, it's great. That yeah. means fuck that shit. Yeah, I'm trying. To- <laughs> <laughs> you know, any any hate mail could go to Dust Mats. Dust Mats. <laughs> Uh, you know, um, but I'm just saying, man, it's like, man, it's great. It's cool. I like Deadpool. The movie was great. It was funny. And I understand with the budget, but I think they got a bigger budget on this one. I think they're going to jump the shark and it's going to be too much. They're trying to put too much into one movie. They I need- think you're very oh, much uh, uh, right in terms of they that. Need yes. to slow roll it. We don't, we, we got cable. We got Deadpool. We don't need these characters that don't fucking, nobody cares about and, and call it X-Force. You know what I mean? So we, like, uh, you know, we don't need these modern characters that nobody cares about, man. Like, nobody uh, cares. Like Shattershot? No, Shattershot. Shatterstar. Shatterstar. Well, we don't need. We don't. He looks like he's in it. That's what I'm saying. Like, well, is that, it, would that be an confirmed example? that Shatterstar's in it? No. But, oh, yeah. No, I'm confirming it right here on the Cold yeah, he's, a, he's in it. Well, Shatterstar's he's in, in it. it. Yeah, you know, you know, and and you know, like you know, like from like being an old dude for like the '90s when it first started, man, like. X Force was the New Mutants that graduated, and and they weren't kids anymore. And right. Cable came in when Professor X was out and took these kids that had no fucking idea what was going on and turned them into a strike team, turned them yeah. into a militant strike team. Can and you at least go with us that 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 what's his face uh, Brolin is no looks he's fantastic tough. as Cable. No, no way. Oh, no way, man. man come I'm on. not. I'm not for him, man. I mean, he's he sees he's a fight. He's skinny mini, man. He's he's a skinny mini. He's he's so you, you want Lee Field. You want you want Yeah, yeah. Field. That you that's no feet, like all upper torso. Dude, dude. <laughs> that was just an where, where, where are the pouches? And I, I see no pouches. pouches. Where's the fucking pouches? I see no pouches. I, 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 I see I no I see no fucking pouches that I knew <laughs> I don't see rounded guns. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but honestly, man, I, I really enjoyed it. My dude Brolin. said Josh Brolin was skinny mini. <laughs> skinny mini. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know what? I get it, man. I, you know, he really looks good, man. Um, I think he's going to nail it. Um, It's not. It's, 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 that's not your cable. It's not my cable. But you know what? <laughs> but you know what? You know what? Honestly, and Nate, I'm going to say this now. Dealing as an older guy that's that's a Marvel Comics uh, a fan from like fucking 78 to 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 like the, the mid two thousands when I stopped collecting and reading, um, I could say I get it, I understand it. I'm gonna watch it. I like it. I'm so happy that there's a representation right now, because right. back in Something, the day, something's better than nothing. Right. Back in the day right. when I was a kid, all we had and was these, like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, we had the Punisher movie in the eighties, which I still think Dolph Lundgren killed it. I love that <laughs> fucking movie. I fucking think Dolph Lundgren was fucking fantastic as the Punisher, but I'm just hashtag Dolph's my Punisher. Yes, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> not my Deadpool. Dolph. The shit, <laughs> the shit that we begin through Marvel, I I like it, but um, it's I accept it for what it is. You know, what I mean? I'm not gonna be that dude that will like sit back and say, you know what? Well, that's not happening. This didn't happen, but I get it. They're they're kind of blending the modern age new versions. The ultimate ultimate yeah, storylines. They're giving with, us with old, school old school heads school. just enough. Yeah, yeah. They're they're they're, they're, yeah, they're yeah, taking yeah. the 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 new Marvel line, which was called the ultimate stuff, and kind of blending with some of the old stuff. And this is what we're getting a hybrid. And I'm like, yeah. And let's be okay. honest, Dust, real quick. Let's be honest. You sure. and I, buddy. It's just you and me here in this room. Yep, we're locking eyes. It's, together. it's, it's, it's always me and you. Man. We're talking. And you know what? Black Panther didn't change your life. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> You know, uh, 
No, the, no dashiki in my closet. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't seen you wear a dashiki. We're, we're, watching, <laughs> we're doing this live video, recording it live with video, and I haven't seen him wear a dashiki once. Didn't change my I don't have a dashiki. One single podcast. <laughs> Nope. You know what? I enjoyed them. I enjoyed the Black Panther comic in the eighties. I fucking love you guys. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. You know what? I mean, no homo. I mean, I'm very happy that Deadpool's going. I think like they're just trying to put too much into the second one, where this this everything that they're doing could have been third. They're like trying to think. Wait, well, wait a minute. What if there's not a third? And I think there's a right. like, there's like a gimmick in the trailer yeah, where. Yeah, there's a gimmick in the trailer yeah, where Deadpool is talking it. to uh, the, what, four wall, the, the dude wall. with the mutton chops. I forgot his name for fucking that. TJ Miller. Ed Miller. He's like, um, he's like, yeah, but what if there's not a third? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, right. so uh, I get to see what they're doing. They're definitely jumping the shark with this, but I mean, I don't know, speaking, man. Like, speaking, speaking of dust, real quick. Speaking of jumping like, the shark. We might already have a member on the, the show that's already jumped the shark. Bo Walker is out doing radio interviews, guys. And I've got <laughs> fucking eight <laughs> albums. And Bo Walker is already out doing fucking radio interviews. So pretty soon, pretty soon, we're all going to be working for him, I think. <laughs> Bo, tell us about your uh, tell us about your radio, uh, your fucking your premier, your debut radio appearance. <laughs> well, I, I hey, I hey, in I, the morning he was he was reporting the weather. Yeah, I was there. I was there. <laughs> it's a little uh, rainy here in Georgia. He was there for he was there for an adopt a pet fund. I was there. <laughs> I was there as a volunteer for a Girl Scout drive. You know, Bo, when you told I, me no. you were going to be on the radio show, I didn't know you were going to be outside the window holding an oak tag <laughs> that said Cobra Law Records. I know what it was. <laughs> You know what it was? It was one of those in between, like all kinds of awful things that are on the news. It was a feel good story about how a lot of people came together to go fund this guy to get him an eleven dollar cord, <laughs> and it was fucking like a candlelit <laughs> vigil. It was people holding signs. Oh, it was God. like Dead this boat. guy just started out and needed one cord, and the outpouring has been fantastic. God, I wish God, everybody you had listen. Had anybody listen? Anybody listen to the show right now? Just Google a uh, quarter inch, quarter inch cord, and just send it to fucking Bo. Uh, 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 uh. Is it a quarter inch? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah, it could be a half inch. Is it a half inch or a quarter? <laughs> it could be. Come on, come on. Let me know so we get you some free cords, man. So fucking XLR. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, Bo. Continue about your uh, your nice. table reading. Tell us all about it. Nice segue, uh, Nate. Nice segue. Uh, I, I, uh... <laughs> And, and I, I still hate Deadpool, but not to toot my own horn, but it was actually not my de- debut uh, on the radio Whoa, here. It's, fuck uh, us, right? Yeah, right. Fuck, fuck you guys. <laughs> I guess. Uh, <laughs> I've I've been on a couple times, but we've got a really solid local radio station. Ooh, I mean, that's the benefit that of being from a small small town is that uh, you know our local radio stations are are low in numbers, and we've got one really solid one that started in in. Uh, the past couple of years. And, um, and so, uh, so they had me on to, to talk about comedy bingo. I recently started writing a humor column in uh, a local, local magazine that comes out every month. Oh, look at this, man. Uh, Bo's got, so, man. Well, yeah. I got, we got, we got, we got, we got, I got, uh, so get this. So, um, Hey, Bo, this, before you, this, before you bounce. This motherfuckers, I just <laughs> trademarked Cobra Law Records, and all of you aren't in it anymore. Hey, Bo, do me a favor, man. Uh, by the be- way, I'm before, so be- Hey, hey before you, by the way, <laughs> can you make sure you do those seven videos we asked you to do? Like, <laughs> oh, Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Bo. I'm sorry. Yes. Go on. Continue. No, nah, <laughs> man. But uh, but this the the magazine. Uh, it's it's shout out to the eleventh hour in Macon, Georgia. Shout out to the Creek yes, FM. Thank you, 11th hour, 100, 100.9 FM, FM in, gang, in gang. Macon, Georgia. Uh, these people are 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 interested in what I'm doing, man. And um and I'm super stoked to to share everything I got going on, especially the shit I got going on with Cobra law records, man. This is, this is the shit that I'm the most excited about the shit that I'm most passionate about. Uh, they've got me performing, uh, coming up in April at their, it's the 11th hour reader awards. So 
we do this big thing in Macon where we ha- they have the 11th Hour Reader Awards. So all the citizens in Macon Bibb County can vote on their favorite, like favorite pizza place, favorite record store, favorite music venue, favorite local performer, favorite local whatever it is. And so how can they- we how can we get in there and fucking absolutely Vladimir Putin stuff these ballot boxes <laughs> and have you on the fucking on there for for favorite not, pizza not fake votes favorite performer fake votes. Favorite, I want you three time winner. Oh dude, you guys well, are I, pushing I, fake I votes. I just work uh you know shout shout out to uh Ingleside Village Pizza and Make it Georgia. That's my aunt's place. That's where I work. Um uh, I work there most nights of the week and um and th- I would imagine they're a, a shoe in. They've won it the past m- several years in a row. I mean, since it's I been going on, they've been crushing it. Uh, they've been crushing. So I got no, I got no, I got no worry about them. Uh, yeah. I hadn't been, I hadn't been performing long enough to be up for any awards, but they have asked me to perform at the awards. Sarah. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, so, so, right. hey, so ladies, next uh, year, so I'll be toot, toot. yeah. Next month, I'll be performing in front of uh, in front of a whole bunch of new faces. I'm doing like a like kind it. of a, a medley of of uh, some nerd rap. I'm going to do a little bit of a stand up comedy intro, kind of to, to introduce uh, Cobra Law Records and and hey. doing a little bit of nerd nerd rap. And uh, don't, don't steal any of my okay. jokes. Okay? I am going <laughs> to only steal Dust Mites jokes. That would yeah, be my so entire good. It's so good. I'm yeah, yeah, be it's like, so good. No Ow. shout out to Dust Mites. <laughs> Mow. Enjoy Ow. these jokes. He's going to break out and go, Mow. <laughs> That's pretty badass. Uh, yeah, really. Man. Like, yeah, like, man. like, man, like in all awesome, honesty, man. bro, like, like, I can speak. I feel like I can speak for all of us, and they can speak for themselves since they're on here, too. Um, but we're very proud of you, man, and that's fucking badass, dude. Thanks, that's, man. That's, uh, I'm yeah. very, super excited about it, man. Very, very Big things, excited. man. Big things, yeah. dude, man. Awesome. I, yeah. I pretty soon I want I want at some point when people are driving into Macon, you know, like in the movies when you see like now entering such and such, and they have like another like extra thing at the bottom that says home of. Oh yeah, I wanted to say fucking Bo Walker <laughs> is what is what is what I wanted to say. Yeah, because you yeah. are absolutely yeah. crushing that scene. So now the oh. fact that you get to perform this year does that help your chances for being nominated for performer of the year the following uh, next year i mean i guess i mean it certainly doesn't hurt them it doesn't right. hurt i would I, I gotta i gotta get more proactive about trying to like like uh organize sh- gigs and shows and that kind of thing right but i mean the you fact know. that you're performing yeah. at, at comedy bingo every monday night it's got to be i mean you've got to be yeah, a performer sure. in making that's performing volume i yeah, guess qu- but, quantity I guess- yeah, but the the categories are are a bit more specific than that. It's like you know, uh, I mean, there is like a best hip hop category, but I'm from the south in Macon. Uh, in Macon, yeah. yeah. And I mean, <laughs> I, you, despite, you're not despite, in the top three. Yeah. No, dude, no, bro, <laughs> no. I I play with rap, man. Like uh, I, I I I am got I am it, got it, got uh, it, I'm it. very I am very aware that I. I'm a writer, a comedian, and like a lover of nerd and pop culture. Like I am sure. not as like talented uh, a lyricist or barsman as as you. Uh, like, you know, <laughs> I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy writing. Uh, uh, Nate likes the bars. <laughs> That's weird. But fuck, talking man, about like, nine or eight inch bars. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> my my bars are bars. You know, very average, four and a half. Four and a half. Uh, yeah. you know, yeah. I love yourself, man. Got, uh, I got, got a whole. In fact, I, yeah. Yeah. every ten pounds, I lose another bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when I gain ten, I get at ten pounds, I lose another bar. Yeah. Yeah. Shout, shout out to Fat Life. <laughs> that's good stuff. Exactly. Well, cool. fucking Bo, that's that's uh, that's awesome, yeah. man. Uh, Thank you, man. Again, Thank that's you very cool. I, that's very I, cool. I and I'm, I'm so incredible, man. Shout out to you. Shout and, out to Bo. And listeners, get it on the ground floor now because yep. this is where Bo's starting out. This is the only the fourth episode. He's going to get big. He's going to blow. And then you're going to be bummed that you couldn't be one of the people that were like, I used to listen to him. Yeah, and this goes on. Seven <laughs> seven is, episode thousand. seven is going to be uh, a, Bo, a Bo's on assignment. He can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Exactly. And then episode uh, 12, you know, Bo's doing something in Cambodia. Exactly. You, know? you can't be those assholes at a show that are like, I used to listen to him when he yeah. was on that 97,000th ranked nerd rap podcast <laughs> in, uh, in, uh, in early 2018. Episode <laughs> no one, you know what? Uh, He's in Korea right now with Hawkeye, and yeah. uh, he's putting uh, some bodies yeah. together. With, uh, yeah, Bo's doing world tours, and I'm still trying to solve Bo- that. Fuck that noise. Fuck that noise. You know, episode 144, on. he's on a war nah. tour with Muhammad and his man, and uh, with Tribal uh, Quest. I saw what you did saying. there, Dust. Yeah, see, I, I tried to bring it back to hip hop. Yeah, I saw that. I, I, like tried. that. Oh, I yeah. tried. I tried. I tried. Speaking of hip hop, yeah. Hey, I, hey, I, I, have, I, have, I have another. Here's another take. What's up, bro? What do you got? What do you got for us? What do you got for us? Bo Metheus, shout out to this dude. It's not. Um, <laughs> I don't mean to sound. I don't mean this to sound self-serving whatsoever. Uh, but so. If you if you're familiar with any of my, our music, you know my albums, you know with these talented gentlemen, great, great. you know that that every one of my CDs is you know 20 songs pretty much. Mm. Now my question is to you guys. Now that feels right to me. Like it feels like sometimes I see dudes and they'll put out like six to eight song albums, quote unquote, or EPs or whatever, mm-hmm. right? Which there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's a teaser. But, right, but hey, nowadays, get to know though, me. Like, get to know me. Like, that's like a record, though. And here's the thing: my question is to you guys: is that because people have come to me who've listened to my albums and they go, "Fuck, you! I really like what you guys are doing." You know, I like some of the last. Like, I had to get to these last songs to like because I set them up in a certain way and I choose the order or whatever. They're like, I really like the last six songs of the album. That doesn't mean they didn't like the first six songs of the album. But my question is, is that do I do I or we risk something by having records that are so long that sometimes people might get might be in today's day and age where the the your your attention span is shorter. Yeah, do AD, do, AD, yeah, AD, yeah, AD. yeah, like dude, like like do they get down there? And if no. that's the case, if that was the case, then if I was putting out eight or ten song albums i'd have fucking 19 albums yeah, yeah we have like, i've got that have a box music. set <laughs> right exactly i know so but but is it or do like i mean this is pretty fucking morbid or is it one of those things like where tupac fucking re- had recorded like 40 songs only put out so many and then when he's dead people are like oh yeah we've got all of these fucking songs <laughs> man you know what honestly what i could say for what we do don't if it's not broken, don't fix it, man. I, I like what we do. And I think uh what we give people is 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 a solid, a solid fucking album from the back. Yeah, I yes, I from feel like back. because from you know, going back. back to our go, right, going back to back. our second episode and where it's very up. hard it's very hard to get people to, to buy music nowadays. Yeah. Yep. If you give them like, hey, I'm giving you twenty songs. I'm asking for like fifty two cents six a song. Dollars. Give me six. Yeah, you know what I mean. Man. It's like I'm giving you fifty. Fuck, give me six dollars, bro. Right. It's like it, you know what I mean. It's just, and it's the same thing with like something like that. You know, Bo's putting out a comedy, you know, comedy hip hop album where it takes us a long time to write that, that, yeah. that, that content. Saturday you know night. I mean? Saturday night. I was on that fucking. I was on that fucking Cobra Law Rage, man. I was drinking. I was feeling us. I was listening to us. I went back and I listened to every fucking album, every song we did. Whether I listened to it all the way through or 20, right. minutes, 20 seconds or whatnot, I scanned and listened to everything. It's such a fucking tight catalog. And I'm an old school yeah. dude, man. If you're not into hip hop and it like, there's some things I don't, I don't like everything that we do, but I right. hate everything we do, but it's just, it's good, but it's not for me, but it like, it's fucking solid, man. It's solid from fucking point one, point A to point B to point Z. It's fucking, it's on point. It's yeah. I just feel like I just feel like growing up, like those 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 albums that really really touched me, like you know, uh, you know, obviously the first two Wu Tang records, uh, Cypress Hill, Temple of Boom, uh, you know, DJ Mugg's first Soul Assassins record. I don't know. It just felt like it was like you had to listen to it front to back. To get the fucking vibe and the fucking to know where album. it was going. Yep. Yeah, you just like yeah. you wanted to hear that next interlude that was yeah. like some dope, 
sample or some dope, like whatever, like the RZA talking or mug uh, four seconds, really obscure boom. shit of what you know what I'm saying exactly. Like, boom, boom, I, boom, boom, yeah, boom. like I, yeah, I just done. feel like it's that was done. like it's done, yeah, the dope shit as opposed to like. Yeah, I skipped around. I liked number two, number eight, number twelve. Well, and number you know what? That's you know what, what, what I mean? Like that's where we're getting now, because everything's streaming now, so it's fast food music. They could just go click, click, right. click, click, click. You know, so uh, it, it like, goes I to the point. Yeah. No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just saying I just I like I constantly tell people like it's almost like I almost want to like put a disclaimer on our shit and that says, you listen know, to every hey, day, you should just <laughs> listen to it from one to yeah. the end. And if you never listen to it again, then you never listen to it again. But you listen to it how we intended you to check it out. You know what I mean? Like, if does that make sense? Like, it's like, it's it's like watching a yeah, movie and leaving absolutely. before the cutscenes. Or you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're, right. you're not watching the movie th- thoroughly. You're not getting the full movie. You don't know where we're going with this. What we what we wanted to do with this. And I think every project that we do, everything builds up to a certain point. And comes down and builds up again. You know what I mean? It's like a movie. You get what I'm saying? What, Bo? what, what happened? What did Bo do? Is Bo trying to steal my? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on there? That's my. That's my. That I got was random message about that. That's that's okay. I listen. Obviously, yeah, like, and dust. I hate that this happened in the middle of a. Scene. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but what's going Bo on? Bo just put up a picture. He's gonna leave that shit oh, there. He's of a oh, he's stick gonna man take a piss. <laughs> taking a piss. All right, so Bo's gotta go. And didn't tell us that that was the cue for "Hey, I've got to take a piss." Well, Bo, you know, there's a little button <laughs> on the left hand side with a chat bubble. You could just put, you could just type in there and said, "Yo, I gotta take a piss," and we got it. Yeah, we could see that. Uh, uh, but yeah, man, and and listen, I didn't want to make this sound like it was some no, sort no, of like, no, I mean, like it, drawn out plug for our music. Basically, what I'm saying is on this podcast, like these are things that I think about. Like, yeah, I mean, when we, I'm making albums, like do I do another 20 song album? It feels right. No, you have to. I mean, well, you know, right. eight, I've done it. Right. Six, 16 with three skits. Let's just let's right. be honest. Oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah, fifteen with five skits. An intro Let's and be outro. Honest. Let's be honest. Hey, but fuck you. I make a lot of those skits. <laughs> They're the only songs I produce on the album are the skits. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I totally get it, man. I'm like, I'm like, no. Let's just keep what we're doing. We're staying in the lane, and, and you know what? Fuck them. Fuck them. Right. Yeah, no, I feel you. He- Fuck them, dude, man. People don't look at the, the, flame, don't look at the numbers. Don't, don't look at the numbers, man, because you know what? It's growing every day, man. And, like, you know, if we do more T-shirts and you do more fucking merch, and it just it just keeps contro- getting right. it bigger and bigger and bigger, man. Like, don't even fucking sweat that bullshit, man. Don't sweat it, man. Yeah. Just keep doing what you're doing, man, because we're all here, man. We're all here. We're one family, and we're doing what we're doing. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. How many times? Have you you know, not not to give anyone some groundbreaking, fucking. Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> I, I've been I've been kind of brainstorming ever since we had the talk about the streaming services, and Nate uh-huh. brought up a lot of good points. Uh, imagine if no more hard copies, no more band cap, just a subscription service where we hit them with like one song a month plus the whole catalog. I think that. I think I'm that's a actually, that's actually. I don't know, Mitty. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, <laughs> if if we had a million fucking subscribers. <laughs> yeah, if yeah, you know what, you know what though, that's actually not a bad idea. Like, but but if we had thirty subscribers and it was a dollar it's worth, each, it's every it's month. Worth, it's it's like a like better than what we're doing. It's basically it's, like, like it's a worth YouTube kicking paper. around. But you know what? There's hey, still well. a lot of people out there that want that physical fucking copy. Oh, of course. Know. No, that that will never stop. But I understand oh, that Mitty is 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 is, is looking is, forward is, to the is kicking yeah. around a thing of income, which I like. I, I think that's good. I think that's uh. Oh, hey, Bo's back. Uh, do you have a picture for like when you're? Hey, back? Bo, how was <laughs> like, How you feel, man? Is it like a drawing of you not taking a piss, like the other one? <laughs> I, think, I think you might have uh, you might have embellished on that picture a little bit. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was a little, he was a little, a little more endowed. Was it? Th- uh, well, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. He was like Jackhammer John. Like I, guess it, I guess it could have been. I guess it could have been. <laughs> hey. Uh, <laughs> 
So Look for I'm your cord. Ginger man dingo. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure. Man uh, dingo. <laughs> the ginger man dingo. That's... Man dingo. We're like the, uh, we're like the Yeti. The, the albino uh, Bigfoot. <laughs> He's everywhere, uh, man. He's love, everywhere. I fucking love it. I love it. Hey, so um, <clears throat> uh, shifting gears. Hey, it's the first time I've used that one this, this show. So. Hey, hey, check it haven't out. I haven't needed to. I think, I've, I think this was flowing pretty well. Yeah, man, cr- so. Hold on real quick. It was all good until fucking Bo went to the bathroom. T- hey, look. <laughs> totally <laughs> fucking killed the flow Somebody's the got a goddamn answer. I'm so right, sorry. Wrap it up. <laughs> I just want to know, Bo, if 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 that was you drinking, are you drinking a Coronita, <laughs> or is that a full size Corona? That's a Coronita, isn't it? Ah, oh, you fucking! Oh my god, he's drinking it a is. small Corona. It's the tiny Coronita. It is. I didn't know they made. I didn't know they made small Coronas, oh. man. You were like, Bo looks like Andre the Giant out there. <laughs> The way his hand just like swallows that. I think I think it's that thing. <laughs> I'm not even. You know, I was gonna really do a really bad joke, but I'm not gonna I'm even sure fucking do it. Yeah, hey, um, hey, so you. so I have a funny story about that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I had a funny story, but I don't think it was gonna be as good as you. It's gonna be very, very bandable. <laughs> YouTube just fucking blocked this show. Uh, Mitty, Mitty, Mitty has just oh, put up a sign of him going to the bathroom too. <laughs> All right, Mitty. You, I mean, look at so, us. We, we go over in two had, hours. You guys hey, gonna fucking leak yourselves? Hey, so one time I had I had a fantasy football at my uh, draft at my house, and so everybody comes and we bring food, beer, whatever. We do the draft, and my buddy rolled in and he had two fucking it, what looked like twelve packs of Corona, and he was like super proud of it, you know? Yeah. He fuck comes in he's like he's fucking he's like he nine dollars in the hand he fucking <laughs> throws it on the fucking counter we're all like yeah and like everybody's like we're taking shots and shit and like finally we like go to break open his fucking corona boxes because they look the same and it's a bunch of coronitas <laughs> let me tell you right now i think that is 99 fucking... of their sales because that is exactly <laughs> what happened to me that's you why i'm never. joking them Yes, yes, you accidentally think that it's the yes. real Corona. <laughs> I have never seen the little Corona bottles, man. They're seven ounce bottles, bro. Seven <laughs> ounce <laughs> bottles. <Man. laughs> I've put away like eight of them. This, this is ridiculous. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, Corona number one is not the the best beer to drink if you want to get lifted. Yeah, it's yeah, very, it's very liquidy. Yeah, it's you, very light. Here's the yeah. deal is, you see the box in the grocery store and <laughs> you see the price and you're like, "Holy <laughs> shit! I can Holy I shit! Get, oh my god! Is this is seven ninety nine for Corona? Corona for like ten bucks? Hell yeah! This is my party beer. I'll well, grab a bag of lime. We'll call it a day. Back in the day, I like and find out. You just ruined the party. Like back in the day, Miller had those little fucking little, you know, little jug bottles, and they're like, man, it's like it's the same shit, man. people. Hey guys, dude, twelvers of Corona are on sale for eight <laughs> bucks in the fucking. <laughs> Sending out group messages just to everyone I know. I've got to come you back to get bar. No lime included. <laughs> Mow. Mow. <laughs> And pick up that uh, Corona, Mow! I gotta believe that's the Mow. only way they're selling those Coronitas. Oh, God damn it. Man, you know what? It, they only sell it to smaller uh, Latinos. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> when the little guys come in, they're like, hey, there you go. Uh, there we go. I'm sorry. Uh, that's funny. Um, we're blocked. So, up. recently, we're still going? Boy, so we're gonna wrap it up. We we're wrap gonna, it up. We're wrapping it up in here in a second. We wrap it up. Recently, <laughs> hey, what do you guys boy, think? We're wrapping up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> boy has uh, embarked on the arts of bonsai. Mm, yeah, and I don't know. Yes, I don't know if anybody is, is is familiar with. Well, uh, you know, we always knew you were bonsai. Mm, you know, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, I do like the trees. Uh, Nathan yes, Haskell man. does <laughs> like the, the N Haskell does like the trees. Yes, that has never been in question. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So I looked it up online. I go, I go online and uh, I look up, you know, bonsai nursery within, you know, whatever thirty miles of where I'm at. Fuck you and your so trees. This place comes up. 
So I drive to this place one morning, a couple, you know, a month or two ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, I pull up and like, I drive past it like two or three times. Like it's that like incognito, right? It looks like it's like somebody's house. So they all are selling there. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I pull up and it's like the classic, like what you would think it was. There's like an old Asian lady, like rocking back and forth in a fucking chair. Like there's no other cars in, on, the, in, in, in the lot. Yeah. Did someone try to they say just... you a Mogwai? <laughs> yeah, right. They take me. In, they take me in the back where it's dark. <laughs> if there was a kid with a baseball cap trying to sell you a Mogwai, back the. And give you a pedicure. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Ow! Pedicure Mogwai, Mogwai. bonsai. Mogwai, Mogwai, go now. <laughs> so, all right, can you? Uh, so I show up, and I'm walking. And I go up to the, 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 the counter and the guy said, you know, it's old Asian, it's typical old Asian guy. Right. And he's like, uh, yeah, Hey, what you need? You know, yeah, fuck, this is going to be the second that? episode where we're going to do fucking Asian fucking. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, was he smoking a pipe that was 17 inches long? No. <laughs> <laughs> then it wasn't your average no. Asian guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to, I'm going to try not to do it. Okay. So anyway, so I'm like, I'm interested in bonsai. And he was like, yeah, what you want? Was, his like, eye, was, his, was both his eyes the I'm, same color? <laughs> How many gram you want? You want eight? You want quarter? You want so, I, so, 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 no. not, so not being totally like knowing what I'm doing in terms of, of bonsai, I was kind of looking for like some help. Excuse me. And I didn't get any of any help at whatsoever. And he just went... He just went, he just kind of waved his arm, you know, across a fucking field. Like when you're like showing somebody your land and you're like, you go now. look what you I now. have. You know you what I mean? Go like now. You're, you go uh, now. you're doing that. And he's like, you go look bonsai. And I'm just like, bonsai over there. Go, go, go. go. Okay. You know, like what's for beginners? What's for like, I have no, so I'm wandering around. I'm super stoned as well. So that didn't help. It helped, but it didn't help. Right. So I'm wandering around and I'm like, I, I I see this tree and I'm like, this is the one, right? This is the this... one. It, it, it looks dead, which like kind of like my soul is right yeah. now recently. I'm right? Bring it back. <laughs> so it looks like it looks like dead. It looks like it has two arms and like a fucking face on the bark. And I'm like, this is the fucking one, right? So I roll up and I I, I take it to the I take it to the counter and and he's like, oh, this one you want. Well, yeah, bro. It's not like you fucking gave me any help in choosing eight, the matter. Yeah, this eight is the fifty. One I want. Eight right? fifty. Like, yeah, like, bro. It's not like, like eight hundred fifty dollar. Like, like, yeah, exactly. Like, like I had no idea how much it was, and I also had no idea like what level no this tree was. In in the the right, in no price tag. No price tag. And I'm a proud motherfucker. And this thing is on the table. I'm buying it. Like, there, I had a limit in my head. Like, yep. If this guy goes. Yes, sir. This is three hundred twenty-five yeah, dollars. Credit card comes out. And I was like, it was like, wow. I was like, I was doing it. I wasn't about to fucking back down and go. Let me put it back. I wasn't window yep. shopping fifty cent. Okay, <laughs> I was fucking ready to go and fucking buy the sponsai. So he comes back and he's like, "Fuck he's you like, and your mogwai." <laughs> yeah, he's like, basically, he's like, he's like fucking touching it. He could have been saying all kinds of shit, like, "Oh, fourteenth branch from twelfth buck." Equal good luck for fourteen year. He like he could be saying any yeah, shit. He yeah, just yeah. was like, yeah, this is good for the fourteenth yeah. bar. Uh, bark is fucking rancid and gonna die in a month. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It could have been anything like that. This is I'm telling you, this story gets way better. So, <laughs> I, I, so he's like, so he, after midnight. Yeah, right. So I bought. No so he's like, he's like, this one ninety dollar, and I'm like cool i'm thinking i got a fucking deal i'm looking at this fucking tree i'm like this is the one i wanted it was only 90 bucks he came in 210 dollars cheaper than what i was willing to go right you already spent 300 dollars on the tree i didn't want to be one of those people that bought a fucking home depot go buy a bonsai tree that's like glued into the ground like i wanted to do this shit for real right right yeah so i so i get it i bring it home (laughs) This is my fucking guy. Well, I can't and wait for someone to animate this fucking episode. This is fucking right this is Bonzi. His name is Bonzi the Bonsai. Bonzi the Bonsai. A whole lot about that name, okay? I was kind of ripped, but his, now his name is Bonzi the Bonsai. Shout out to Bonzi. Yes, yeah. and I got him. Couldn't out have there. been the first. And He's I'm more chill than Fonzie. I'm fucking watering him. 
I'm fucking doing the whole bit, right? And I'm like, got some books, and you're I'm home. You're home shit. now. Right? You're home. I'm reading some shit, and I'm like, yeah, I'm home. And I had I'd stopped at fucking Barnes and Noble because they're probably gonna be out of business soon. So I got some bonsai <laughs> books, and I fucking bought the books. <laughs> and I come back. And I come back home, and I'm reading, and I'm looking, and I'm watering. And I'm reading and I'm looking clipping and watering, right? Yeah, no, no, no clipping yet. Oh, you're they, at clipping yet. Fucking no, they freaked me out because they said you can't just use regular scissors and shit. You gotta use yeah, the, uh, 1999 shears. Right. shears. Yeah, that's what you fucking think. You're laughing because I was laughing too. So I went to the fucking <sighs> staples or Target and I just bought the most expensive scissors they had. And I said, <laughs> What the fuck is the difference, right? What's the difference? Bonsai scissors, these are expensive scissors and staples. Right or and or Target, I can't remember at this point. <laughs> so I come back home, and I'm like, "Oh, this needs to be leveled out a little bit." Trim, <laughs> trim. The last time I tried to that, my Christmas tree looked like fucking Charlie Brown. <laughs> I was trimming my shit. Shh, fucking so thin. Trim. Sounds like me as a kid growing some devil's <laughs> lettuce. Man, you can't stop. Once you so start trimming, trimming, you can't I'm stop. <laughs> And I'm trimming, and now I'm looking, and I'm going, hmm, fuck, maybe this isn't what fucking old Asian guy at the store was meant for this fucking tree when he sold it to me earlier in the afternoon, okay? So I leave it alone. And it's sitting there, and it's got a few days, and it's sitting there. It's a few days, but it's fucking talking to me. It's, it's looking at me like a guy that needs a fucking haircut, and he's like, trim me, dog. Just go ahead and come out here and trim me, dog. I need a fucking cut. Your boy needs a fade. Your boy needs a lineup. So I bring him back inside the house. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That's the Andy T outliner on that bitch. <laughs> so I bring him. So I, so, I bring him back, so I bring him back inside the house, and I trim, and I trim, and I trim, and then I put him back outside. And they go, "That's enough. It's enough." I don't know if you have male pattern baldness. You have to keep some of your fucking <laughs> leaves right now, right? So then some of the places that I cut, they start to turn brown. Oh, uh, oh Kansas. So I said, I, I'm a loving fucking parent at this point. Am I wrong? Right? So I'm like, fuck. My tree's got bought. Now I start thinking, wrong scissors. <laughs> <laughs> wrong fucking scissors. <laughs> wrong scissors. They fucking told you, Nate. They told you, and you nice. didn't fucking listen. Yeah. Okay, you didn't listen about the thirty-seven dollars or seventeen dollars. Right? They told me. They literally told me. And what did I say? Nah, fuck do you fuck know? And they're good. like, oh, ten thousand year art of bonsai tree. Yeah, we know nothing, right? <laughs> so I look online. I look for classes. So I'm looking online. I'm like, where, where can I have some bonds? I need some more bonsai feedback. I need some people. I need to be with my people. I need to be with my fellow bonsai. I need to get with my bonsais. I need to get with my bonsais, right? Yeah. So I Hell fucking, yeah. so I Google and they're like every first and third fucking Saturday of the month down here in fucking uh, Harbor City, they got bonsai class, $20 a session. Boom. Perfect. I wait for that Alpine Saturday. Village. No, it's not an Alpine Village, but, it's it's Alpine Alpine Alpine. Village. but yeah, you know where that's at. <laughs> so I drive down there. I show up. I get high in the parking lot because I was early. Of course. <laughs> not what sure. Would you, what would you do if you showed up early? I'm not sure if that was good or a bad thing. But I come in and I've got my little fucking I got my little my little tree. Oh, you brought it and, with you? I have to bring it with me. I'm there to get classes, right? I got to find out what's going know. on, you know? I, just, I don't know. Maybe you walk in there. Yeah. Just I know because I didn't want to. I wanted to get hands on. Yeah, I wanted to get. Fuck you. He wasn't a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> so, like the mother carrying around her dead baby. <laughs> yeah, baby bird. Not Shout out to my baby saying. bird, my dead baby bird. <laughs> I take back the I love you guys, so I hate you guys. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. come on, come on, keep it rolling. Come on, come okay, on. So. We gotta get, we're almost done here. <laughs> okay, so Dustin's got to go to bed. Okay, we're good. So let me finish this up, and we'll do our roundabout. So I go in, and I sit down, and it's me, and it's like the classic like. There's like 
three old men and like three old women and like two young age like like i was way out of my element and like already the loudest person in the room just stepping in saying hello <laughs> it was like i was like fuck and so he's going around to each person and he's helping each person with their trees and so he comes around to me and i wish i remember the fucking phrase he used but he grabs my tree and he lifts it up and he goes, Oh, he's got a Patty McGee tree. And everybody starts what? to laugh. Like, I don't know what the name was. He used some Japanese name, but everybody in the class starts to laugh at my tree. Uh... Okay. And so they're laughing at my tree and I go, and I start getting defensive. I'm like, of course, like, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, what the I'm fuck? Laughing at my tree? What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Is, you know, you know, use it like, like a, uh, little league with your son, and you get mad and you start flipping out. No, I'm at bonsai school. Yeah, with my right? tree. Right. And I'm so, flipping the fuck out. So oh, what yeah. I learned. Oh, so, God damn it. So 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 what Ow. I learned was. So what I learned was was that the tree that I bought from that nursery, the guy who cultivates all of those trees, has his own style, and he kills the bark in the middle so it looks dead and like ratchet which is why i liked it and it's because it's, it's blooming on the ends yeah because because yeah, because the point of the bonsai is to make your tree look older than it is like that's like part of the fucking thing mm. and so he does like he kills part of the bottom of the tree in order to look like that so then when you grow the top it looks super old right mm -hmm. and so and so he, the, uh, I talked to the guy and the reason why they were turning brown was because it was in the sun too much. And he, and he gave me the right scissors, you know, to wrap this up. He gave me the right scissors and all that kind of jazz. But he told me, he goes, you're a, you're, you're a first time bonsai person. You need to get more than one tree because you have a tendon because first time bonsais have a tendency to give their trees a haircut to death. And that's exactly what I did is that you cut it. And then you have to wait like a month until you can cut it again. But if that's the only one you have, you want to constantly be given mm -hmm. it cut. So the, the suggestion is to get two or three trees that are growing at different times so that you have different ones to work on, you know, i.e. a painting or a, a song or whatever. Yeah. And I, th I thought that was really cool. And since then, I've gotten a couple bonsais. And, uh, and oh, yeah, yeah, I just, you know, I just thought that was a, cool you know if anybody's thinking about it it's a very you know it's a very uh uh calming cool thing just don't give your tree a haircut to death i guess <laughs> you would suck at growing weed my friend <laughs> uh all right i'm sorry that went too long with that said uh let's do our fucking round robin here uh bo you first sir any plugs um, you know, if you're obviously if you're in the Macon area, hopefully you've you're 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 plugged in enough to know what's going on here. But I've got the I've got the Eleventh Hour Reader Awards coming up next month. But uh, you know, I'm sure I, I'm I'm very hopeful we'll get together before then. But I don't really have any plugs, man. Um, you can find me at Bo Walker or Bo Metheus on Instagram, Facebook, all that good fun stuff, and um. It's been a it's been an awesome episode. This has been this may might have been my favorite. Maybe that's because I was maybe that's because I was shining. You were the MVP, so right? sir. It, so <laughs> it was fun. Uh, it was a good time. Uh, I love you. it. Love having you once again, uh, Midichlorian, sir. Yeah, you know, just wanted to remind everyone: if you're ever out in the Antelope Valley and you're feeling real thirsty, you can come by and suck my dick from the back. <laughs> Shout out to Antelope Valley. I don't know what the fuck that oh, is. Oh, wait. Mitty, uh, Mitty. Hey, hey, no, <laughs> shout out to Nate. In a yep. different part of the desert. Like one day, yo, Mitty, uh, how is fucking uh, uh, Coachella? Yo, yo, Mitty, how is fucking Arizona? <laughs> yo, yo, Mitty, how is uh, the, the fucking desert sands of the Sahara? Well, you know, you want to know how I'm doing? Come see me and suck my dick from the back. <laughs> Real quick, listen, Dust. I know we're gonna wrap this up real quick, but I, 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 I just feel incomplete unless I hear something about uh, Star Wars Rebels. What you about what? Star Wars Rebels? I, you know they stopped making the show, so I'm kind <laughs> of reaching here. But 
I, I could say that, I mean, okay, Star Wars Rebels was made by who? <laughs> I, I don't expect you guys to answer that. Dave Dude. Filoni. Dude, right. there's gonna be an, there's Filoni, gonna be some. You think there, also, there's gonna be something else? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, what? Dave Filoni also made another show, which was called The Clone Wars, which was some of the best <laughs> fucking Star Wars to date. There's and gonna be I'm something on else. Relax. I'm on a mission to make Dust watch at least series five and six of The Clone Wars. No, never. Like, if we gotta go out to to dirty <laughs> jerks, never happened. And get <laughs> never happened. Some yeah. drive into his house. Well, man, you know what? I can easily just click it. I'm like, we're going to perform a skull face fucking cribs episode. Oh, looking at his deep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> him up and we're going to show him how Darth Maul teamed up with the, with the, with the spicers and all yeah, that with, shit. Yeah, yeah, with the clicking oh, clack with the fucking seven lights. Right. And, and that, my friends, was the yeah. Rebel Minute. Dust, yeah, what can hey, you plug, yo. my friend? Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Dust Mites. You can find me on Instagram at, at Dust Mites, uh, Eddie Dust Mites in the Facebook groups. Uh, I do a couple of podcasts every week, uh, mainly Realm of Collectors Enter the Realm video podcast Monday nights on the Realm of Collectors YouTube channel live 8 p.m. Eastern. And come check us out and say what's up. Uh, other than that, I'm just chilling out my Cobra Law fam, making beats, chilling out, drinking beers, and hanging out with you motherfuckers. Yo, shout out to Frogman. He fucking laced yeah. me with a fucking killer fucking package this week, man. It was like a fucking, uh, if you play Call of Duty when you get them fucking care packages, it just dropped out of nowhere. I'm like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. So shout out yeah, to that. Check dude, out man. the end to the realm oh, yeah. podcast. It's very it's the it's the realm of collectors flagship yep. show. That's that's flagship. Very cool. Yeah, it's very yeah. cool. It's 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 uh, video as well as audio, and that brings me to my end piece here. Where, hey, listeners, all fucking seventeen and a half of you. <laughs> <laughs> If you got questions, orders. if you, we love some feedback, we love some some uh, some stuff like that. Uh, one question we did get uh, this week from oh, uh, we had a Charles. question. Yeah, we got one oh, question shit. this week, and I don't want to butcher his otherwise. name. I, I know it's Charles Mackey on or McKee on uh, on McKay, Facebook. Man, that is Chuck. Yeah, McKay, that's yeah, Chuck. Charles man. McKay, that's Chuck. He, he, um, he's, yes, on Chuck. Yeah, he's he frequents Optimus for Prez, right? Yeah, he pre- yeah he frequents Plastic yeah. Fanatics on Saturday nights. He's on that show. Yes, he's a good dude. He's a supporter of all of our shit. Yep. And uh, uh, one of his, his question, his question was, uh, "Why don't we do video?" And I told him I would answer this on the thing. And here is here here is I guess we could all have different answers. Uh, my answer is because I want you to listen. Mm. It's easy. It's easy to look at something and zone out. And we're also not a podcast that is showing a bunch of stuff. We're not reviewing toys. We're not. Yeah. You know, there's really nothing for you to look at other than us fucking laugh, which you can hear. Yeah. I'm hideous. Um, yeah, exactly. And well, I don't want to get dressed up. I don't, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't want to worry mean, about. Would have been able to see You're both drawn. I mean, I honestly, want, man, yeah. that. everything that I do. With this toy shit is like all these podcasts is mostly, basically uh, all video type stuff, man. Right. And like for us to make make it just video uh, audio, and I like at like any time it's we're not live, so I could go in and edit out anything or yeah. put anything in. And it like we discussed, like like Nate, if he has a, a, a an interview with someone that's not live on the show, but. He, we right. we, we could just bounce it in other. there. We yeah. could just edit it right in there, man. So, um, I'm not saying that we might not fucking yeah, we do might anything do an episode with... like that. You never know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Bo's, you know, Bo's gonna have to clean up that fucking 75 foot electrical yeah. cord in the background there. But other than that, that. <laughs> but um, you know what I mean? You know, everything we do on the realm is video. There's a lot of other guys that do video podcasts, and I think it's. Well, when we all discuss what we're trying to do here, I think an audio show was, was the best format for us. Exactly. We want you to be able to do whatever you're doing and not have to worry about yeah, looking exactly, at an ugly mug. Exactly. I'm not saying that we might not drop something here and right. there. Of some, course. Some, I mean, honestly, video. we would get a lot more female viewers if they seen me. I mean, come yeah, on, look sure. at me. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm sure. I'm Fair sure. enough. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Fair enough. Uh, my name is Nathan Has Skills. Uh, you can catch me on Bandcamp. 
<laughs> YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all that madness. Uh, Nathan has skill. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, compliments, you can send to Nathan has skill dot at gmail dot com. Uh, that is my personal email address. You can also send nudes if need be, as long as it's not male oriented. Uh, farewell from the terror drum. We didn't even get into a uh, 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 Cobra Kai uh, next week. Next week, the fuck out of here, man. Oh, I can't fucking walk you to water for fucking an hour and a half. Okay, oh, man, bring it up if you want to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs>